Sorry for the like face paint I got on. Weird things happen at school. I can get it off though. It's just like pastel stuff that we had in art class. But today we're gonna be doing like a, a bass. S s we're gonna be saving my pet bass. He's just my pet until Friday because um. I'm gonna be putting them. I'm gonna try to be putting them in my grandmother's pond. If I can't get him to stay alive, that if I can't, if I think that he's gonna die before then, I'm gonna f try my best to find a way to move him into a spot that I can live. That's better than the bucket and the fish tank that I have, which is gonna be the nearest creek. But in order to get him there fast enough, I have to take the route that my band class is going to be in, and I, I'm not. I pretty much am not allowed to do that. I will get kicked out of that place. So I'll pretty much be kicked out of band, probably in school. So, so we're going to try to find a tarp. We need something waterproof, and then we need. I don't know what we need. So yeah, let's try this. Jeez, there's a bee right get, get out of here, friggin' bee. I came up, well, I didn't come up with it. We came up with an idea to put it in, um, like, it's not really a bucket. Oh, that isn't big enough. I thought that was bigger. It's not. To fill up one of these tubs, um, oh. I'll ask my mom if she's okay with it because th this thing's not even. Ugh, I just need to. I'm not. I don't even have to move it anywhere. But I need to fill it up with like good, clean water. Ah, uh, it's not gonna how, how you know, Okay. We're gonna leave the top open because nothing's gonna be big enough to eat that thing. Now, the next step is to get water. Well, couldn't save him, so I decided if the thing dies, there's no use in just throwing it out, so. We have this, I already made the first cut, so. I'm not really exactly sure how to fillet a fish, but I'm gonna try my best. I'm not gonna show that stuff on camera this as much as I'm gonna show, so, yeah. That's the end result. I got one, two, three, four pieces of meat out of that thing. A little bit more left on them. Not worth getting though. I might get this little piece right here. That's not really worth it. Worth the work. There we go. And then, when you're done with that, I mean, look, this is like a two pounder. So it really wasn't worth getting the meat off of, and that's why I didn't want to get the meat off them at first but it happens things happen can't really keep fish like that they just don't do good I don't even know what time it is what time is it oh it's 451 I got plenty of time I was gonna go to the creek wait around in there and just gonna wash my hands off that's that oh I don't know how I'm going to cook him. I don't know if I'm going to cook him or if I'm going to get my mom to cook him. It would probably be better if I cooked him. Because I know mom's not going to cook him. After she says she's going to cook everything else and she never does. Hi. You can see my face now. My phone's got multiple different animals blood on it right now. It's got a squirrel and a bass. I can guarantee you it's going to be a lot more than just that here in the next few months. So, thank you for watching. Actually, no, because I'm going to record myself eating this to see how bass tastes. Because I've never 
in my whole entire life I've never eaten a bath before. So that's good. I have to wash my knife, Brian's knife off, wash the fillets off. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to get scales off of them. So that's the fillets. Right here. Look at that. Here's oh, here's some close focus. There you go. Boom. Still got scales on them. Some of them have scales, S and some of them don't. So yeah. Uh, I was a little bit confused whether it was. I was confused whether it was a largemouth or a spotted bass, but I think it was a largemouth. You know, that's a little different. You know, cut. Yeah. Wow. Isn't it? Because the spotted bass have like darker spots under their lateral line. Well, largemouth bass mouth will come. And they have teeth on their tongue. But a largemouth mm. bass okay. mouth will go, you know where the eye is Bo hits? It'll go behind the eye. Yeah, it goes past the eye. It's not good. You watch what it's going to do. Sweet. Oh, it's my okay, good. Okay, see how it's starting to turn white? Yeah. When it's all white, white that is done, it don't take long at all. Okay. If mom didn't throw that squirrel away yet, I might try to eat him too. Yeah, if it's still soaking in uh, brine water. She might have thrown it away. There's it a lot of different ways to cook fish, but this is just one. It's, uh, one it's still sticking in way. the uh, brine water, it's still good. Mm okay. Yeah. Well, it should be. Yeah, brine, if it's got enough salt in it, it can't, it can't go bad. Mm, it's so good. See how it's starting to turn white everywhere? Yeah. Well, you have it on time, huh? Well, turn it down a little bit. I was just trying to get it going. Get the... it closer if you want. Need more butter? No. It's going to be done in just a second. So. Okay. Okay, what I do, I move some of that stuff a little bit off the heat right there. Yeah, it looks good. You weren't pressed for butter. Get a plate, because this stuff, oh yeah. Let's get a see. plate. Yeah, that stuff there is done right here. It's done. Falling apart. Any more butter? No. Probably not. I don't know. I can't get this done. Come here, get this. What do you think it is? Is that your As soon as it falls apart like that stuff is, yeah, pull the stuff out of there. Okay. And finish that little piece, would you? I've already flipped it. The little piece that all done, the big piece is just... Oh, yeah. Get that piece that fell out there. I'll try a piece of it. Hey, that's mine. Mm. Mm. What happened to the other play? It fell apart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's what he said. Mmm, that is good. Hell yeah. Maybe if it's warmer the next time I'm here. We can go again and catch more. Yeah, I think that he would want to stay out there. I'm going to go there in the morning. I'm going to have to make sure it's done. Are you taking Dina's piece down and try? He don't eat, Danny. He doesn't. He doesn't eat fish. Right. Is this done? Well, Diane, when it's white and falls apart. Yeah. Uh, oh, it gets opaque. I want to go there at the It's going to continue the... cooking anyways. Give me that piece right there. Oh, I had a little piece of steak. Hey! <laughs> oh, look what you did at the board. <laughs> oh, good. I wanted yeah, to... I had a little piece. Eat it, I wanted to go there in the morning and come back, like, after dark. Yeah, we'll have to go again. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Yes, it is. It's got very good flavor. Down, down. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That looks good. Yeah. My gosh. My first time ever eating any kind of bass. Just gonna eat it right here. See my reaction of it. Ooh. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. Having some struggles. I'm just gonna take this piece. That is good. I caught this bass whenever I was fishing in Kentucky Lake. 
You trying to eat my fish? I freaking kill you, cat. Um, I will. Get out of here. Freaking cat's trying to steal the fish from me. Freaking kill that thing. Okay. Well, you got my reaction. The first taste. Mm, my. This stuff's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's the best fish I've ever eaten in my, in my life. But my god, that was good. So. Yeah. Later, I might do catch and cook squirrel. I've already got the squirrel. I don't have video of him. I've got a picture, but I can't really show you all the picture of him just yet. But thank you for watching. This has been West Kentucky Outdoors here. Cooking bass since 2018. <laughs> Look at this. That's just amazing. Oh my gosh.